good morning loves happy monday today is monday march 18th and it's the start of a new week and also the start of a new vlog so if you guys are new welcome you have found your way to an amazing place on beyonce's internet if you guys are returning thank you so much for clicking on yet again another video it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics this is my youtube channel i post content about whatever i'm interested in at the time so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video enough to stay until the end and yeah join the gang go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now if you haven't already because we're growing and glowing and i would hate for you guys to miss it so you know <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so it's a monday morning slash afternoon and i'm out of the house so i decided today to change a scenery for me to get work done i have been struggling with productivity and i figured that by me changing my scenery it'll give me some type of inspiration so we just out here we testing the waters we testing the waters so we're gonna see if this works or not but either way i packed up my bag got dressed and i was like i'm gonna come to this cafe that i've been wanting to come to for a while it's i don't want to say the most popular but i always hear and see people speaking about it it's called brass tax and it's in downtown houston so i just parked i'm about to walk over there now and i'll bring you guys with me but yeah day two here eats are real bad like real freaking bad the volume everything about it i'm obsessed so i showed you guys my outfit on short form content if you guys didn't see it, make sure you guys check it out because i've been trying to do a better job you know just updating you guys on the fashions on what your girl's wearing so if you want to find the the fine men like the men men like the men with careers not the men with jobs the men's with careers you need to start going to coffee shops so i'm coming here to do some work but I'm also coming here to do some work, if you get what I'm saying. So, we're gonna see what it's giving. We're just gonna see. I'll give y'all an update on what the men's is looking like in there. And as I continue to do this, I kind of want to go to two coffee shops this week. So, this is one of two. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get up in here and get some work done. Because that's how we came out the house, right? Want me to come out, that I'm not I want to show you my world. skincare i'll share it with you guys because i have promised you guys i'm gonna cleanse using this dermalogica special cleansing gel this is the only cleanse i've been using for the past few years i am obsessed but today i ended up going to brass tax as i told you guys it was cool it was very packed and the girl was like this is not even considered packed and i'm like big b there's <laughs> a lot of people in here so i ended up getting the table right away i sat there i did work i didn't really record much because there was people all over me and everybody's working so i'm like you know i don't want to be at creepy but it was a good time very productive to get out the house and change scenery but i'm very pretty i'm very particular when it comes to settings that make me productive like i think brass tax is designed as like a if you have to get work done, come here type of place. And that's cool, but I feel like sometimes that could be kind of intimidating to me because it's just like productivity, like it's just like shut down your throat because everywhere you look, you see it. I prefer like a coffee shop where it's mixed. Like some people are actually there to get a cute little latte. And then some people are there like, you know, on their laptop or just having a meeting, very casual, you know? So I don't know. I'll go back, but I don't know how often. That's what I'll say. It's not like my go-to or somewhere that I would frequent often. So yeah, that's how I felt. And then I ended up coming home because I had to get my grass cut today. And I forgot that I needed to come bring them cash. So I had to end up coming back home. And then I ended up going to the gym. My first workout of the week, one of five. I did a full week of workouts last week. So let me pat myself on my back. Oh, I'm not going to brush my teeth because I'm not to eat dinner. But either way, I'm proud of myself. So, second week, game time. Birthday loading. What, we're 49 days away from my 30th birthday? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm excited, but I can't. 
came home, I put some laundry in, and I'll take a shower. That shower, immaculate. Immaculate. That Josie Moran body scrub, hmm. We're gonna do a whole video talking about what y'all need to pick up during the Sephora sale. That video will be up, probably the video after this vlog goes up. Y'all, that body scrub? Game changer. I'm telling y'all, like, So as my face is still damp, I'm gonna exfoliate. So I'm gonna use this Paula's Choice BHA 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. This stuff right here literally transformed my skin. And also I took some skin progress pictures today. I'll go ahead and pop them up on the screen so you guys can see. But the skin is skinning, but we have some work to do because once again, my 30th birthday is in 49 days. I'm trying to be on somebody's beach with no makeup on skin glowing hair and no like i can't wait so yeah i'm really focused on being consistent with my skincare routines and i'll continue to share things with you guys but this is exfoliator tonight is my retinol night so i usually put this on next but you're not supposed to mix this with retinol so i don't put this on the nights where i do retinol so next i'm gonna go in with this Concentrate from Cynthia, my esthetician. This is her revitalizing concentrate. I just use one pump of this. Work that in. Everything you do to your face, make sure you do to your neck as well. I like going to bed feeling and looking like a glazed donut. Like that's how you know you're gonna get some good sleep. If you're not going to sleep or glossed up, you're not getting good sleep. Like how you get good sleep, Ashy? How you get good sleep while you dry? Make it make sense. I'm gonna go in with my retinol. So this is the retinol I use. This is her my esthetician Cynthia. This is her retinol night treatment. I just take like a pump and a half. And this is the color that your retinol is supposed to be. If your retinol is white, it no right. If your retinol is clear, it no right. So I just take this and apply it. This helps with preventing your skin from aging and also if you have like dark spots, hyperpigmentation, this helps with that as well. I use retinol twice a week now because I didn't use it for a while so I kind of have to build my skin back up but I don't use it twice a week. I think I'm going to keep it that way because I have, I have my system. I have my system. My skin, I think it's called skin cycling or skin... I forgot girl but right now and then moisturizer it don't have no words on it it doesn't it fell off while i was traveling i left it in africa <laughs> but um i promise you guys this is a polish choice extra strength repair barrier moisture the link will be down below but this stuff is good everybody always asks me like what moisturizer do you use this one right here one pump this is really good especially if you have ruin to your skin's barrier this will help get it back together because my skin was going through it when i was in new york and now it's way better like way way better something about texas just wears very well on my skin i don't know what it is but i'm here for it so i've been using this so this is a topical seal this is actually a makeup primer but i use it in my night skincare routine so it's supposed to help with ice pick scars and I get ice pick scars here and here so I'll take a little bit of this and I just go ahead and work it into that area and it's been helping with these areas but I did have some breakouts so I feel like right now is not a true depiction but I definitely have noticed that the breakouts I had here cured way faster and the ice pick scars aren't as like deep as they were before and then i still have to eat so that's why i brush my teeth here after i brush my teeth i put my night lip mask on so this topical silk salve i gave you guys a review of it on tiktok so if you don't follow me on tiktok you should already know what to do go follow me on tiktok but i told you guys that i like this lip balm better as a night mask because it was giving me like that yuck mouth and i didn't really like that so i'm gonna put a little bit of it on now 
just so you guys can see and so my lips will be moisturized but i'm gonna make sure i apply it again after i brush my teeth oh yeah it's very sticky when i posted my review people were like a four and a half out of ten i'm like yeah like i have tried some fire lip products this year recently within the past few months and i'm like when i compare the topicals to them you know you know body care i have so many products i'm currently working to finish yeah um but i'm gonna go ahead and put this topicals in grown tonic on my brazilian area so I started getting laser in case you guys are new here and I'll give you guys an update. So my hair was falling off. Like at first, when I first got the laser, I was a little confused because I'm like, I thought the hair just was going to stop growing after the first session. And then a week went by, nothing, regular hair growing back. Not as, not as fast as before I got the laser. So I was like, okay, my hair is growing back a little thinner, X, Y, and Z. The following week, aka the week that just finished, baby, my hair was falling off. I was shedding like a freaking, like, I don't even know what. So I'm going to insert the video here so you guys can see what I'm saying. So your girl finally started getting laser hair removal. Well, well I did one session, but I heard like, you know, after the first session, your hair is going to start falling out. Why? I just swiped my deodorant on and all of this came off. At first, I'm like, damn, it's not working. The hair isn't falling off, baby. You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> but literally in my panties, it would just be random hair. On um, my deodorant, random hair. Like when I'm showering, random hair. On my little wash thing, random hair. So my hair has been falling out and I was nervous because I'm like, am I supposed to shave while this is happening or not? But I shaved my armpits tonight for the first time and oh, they look good. Like... They look good. When Cardi said, Just got my laser soft like a dolphin. She never lied when she said that. She never lied when she said that. Like, this is literally <laughs> the prettiest that my coochie has ever looked in my life. Like, I thought my coochie looked good when I was waxing, but baby, the laser, it hits way differently. Like, Shout out to y'all, the people who are pressuring me, like, you need to start laser, you need to start laser. Shout out to y'all, because the laser makes it different. I'm telling y'all, when y'all start getting laser, yep, it's going to look real pretty, like, so pretty. I'm going to use this ingrown tonic. This is like an exfoliator, so no matter what method you're using of, like, hair removal, whether you're shaving, waxing, laser, make sure you're exfoliating because it helps with the hair removal process. And this is just like a roll-on. Get this during the support sale. Because I definitely need to get another one. And then I'm going to go in with my topicals. Brightening and clearing mist. And then a body care tonight. Should we consider her vintage? Because she got like... So this was the OG Josie Moran body butter. This stuff was good. This stuff, I was telling you on my last vlog. I didn't think it could get any better. But now they have it this body butter. So the old versus the new. And I'm hooked on both of them. But I low-key wish I stocked up on these. If I knew that they were going to drop these, I would have stocked up on the OG ones just to make sure that I had enough to, you know, satisfy my appetite. But look how much I have left. So I'm just going to finish this. Probably finish this tonight. I like to mix this body butter with my Osea body oil that's what gives me the color this is what gives the glazed donut effect like this combination let's just let's just label it the glazed donut combo the josie moran body butter with the osea body oils and the day the day that josie moran drops the body oils to match the new fragrances of their body care products <clears throat> sign me up immediately like i love a body butter and body oil combo if you're not mixing your body butters or body oil, baby, do you even watch my channel? Are you even subscribed? Go ahead and subscribe right now. <laughs> Cause I can tell you guys aren't a part of the family. If you don't mix your, with the. So my armpits look so good. Like, 
Oh my god. Like, look at my freaking armpits. This is crazy. But either way. I think I want to, well, I want to, I'm going to, <laughs> where is it so important? I'm going to record some content tomorrow, so I need to refresh my hair. It could be fine, but I don't want to take any chances because I've never seen day three here using this mousse. If you guys want to see the original twist out, make sure you guys check out my healthy hair routine. I'll link it in the cards. But I'm just going to do like some big twists using this mousse. So we'll do it on camera together. You guys have been requesting a week in my natural hair video. It's coming. It's coming. It's crazy because I started recording it. I started recording it. And then I ended up going to Detroit. And then I ended up going to Africa. So during that time, it was very hard to like record the days. And then I also got braids. And then after those braids, I got another set of braids. So now that I'm like back home and like settled in with my natural hair, I'm going to record that video for you guys in early April. So that video is coming. But I'm just going to refresh. Ooh, not my part looking good. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my hair quickly. Nothing too crazy. Twist so our in like oh, I cannot wait to see this here tomorrow. So good. So so good. I want to try this mousse on a washing gun. So we may do that next week. And then I'm going to put on this bonnet. This is from Kiss. This is bonnet. It's literally huge. I don't know if I can tell how huge it is. And then it's also um, reversible. So the other side is cheetah print. But I'm going to put this on. Hopefully this could um, mask the scent. Like hold it in here. Because <laughs> the last time I just slept with the hairnet. And I was smelling it all night. But hopefully with this, I don't have to smell it. Cause it's really in my sleep. Like if I smell certain things in my sleep, I will wake up with a headache. But this is the vibes for the night. Skin glowing, body glowing, the hair was glowing. We're gonna have a good night. We're gonna have a good night's rest. And I just shaved my legs. And I just washed my sheets and redid my bedding last night. I need to put 15 alarms on because that is a recipe for disaster. Shave legs and fresh sheets. Got an attitude, but you mad at you, so I ain't mad at you. And you said it too. <laughs> That's my slow Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's my nightgown for me. I got this thrifting, and it's one of my faves. But either way, I wanted to come back on camera because I did my twist with you guys last night. So I'm like, it's only right that I get on camera to take it down with y'all. So I'm going to take these down. They still feel a little damp, so I'm not going to separate them too much yet. But I just want y'all to see the initial definition. Like, If y'all have not watched my healthy hair routine that I put up on the 19th, go watch it because what? This definition is crazy crazy i'm not gonna separate it too much yet because i mentioned it's still damp so i'm just gonna leave it like this to air dry for a bit longer and then i'll separate it a little later on but y'all look look like i can't make this up i can't we can't make it up Make sure I took everything off. I don't want to miss any twists. Okay. And then, I'm just going to 
gonna put this on because it matches and okay. got an attitude but you bad shit so I am mad at you and you tear the two <laughs> we have PR packages to open and we're gonna do it together yeah I've been liking my PR unboxing so Let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, I have a package from Olaplex. It says, for your eyes only. Oh, can I share this with you guys? I'm not sure if I can share. Okay, Olaplex. Y'all know I've been loving Olaplex. I was using it on my hair for the past few months, but that also got left in New York, so I don't have it with me right now. Oh, wait, let me see what they said, if I could share it oh this is perfect for your eyes only when does it come out or did it come out already because this package literally just came to my doorstep oh oh this is nice i don't think let me see if it's <laughs> it is okay so this package is from olaplex this is their brow bond if y'all don't know I barely have brows like they look all right right now but I have struggled with brows for a while because I used to get my brows waxed at like the local nail shops uptown Bronx New York and baby if you know anything about that era or if you ever experienced that you know that your brows are not in the best shape right now because they I don't know what's in their wax I don't know what it is but it definitely hasn't been allowing my brows to grow back at this at this point in my life so I'm really excited about this. So this is their Brow Bond Building Serum. It says for the look of dense, defined, age-defying brows. And they also sent over their Lash Bond, which is a like lash serum. So I'm really excited to try this. They sent over like these uh, tools to go with it. So one of them is a tracker to make sure that you like use it consistently morning and night for four weeks. So. I'm going to try this out. I'm really excited. Girl, don't let me... <laughs> Girl, don't tell me I'm about to have brows this summer. Okay? Babes, because if this works... I'm going to say when this works, because words have power. When this works, y'all are going to be sick of me. I'm already fired with no brows, but with brows, babes, it's bringing a whole different energy. And then I got this package. I don't know who this is from. So let us see. Wow, oh my God, I literally just seen this on Instagram the other day. Y'all, this is from the lip bar. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa R. Butler. This is from the lip bar. <laughs> Y'all, this is a full circle moment because if you know me, you know I have been loving using support in the lip bar for years, probably since I started my YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link like my first, first, or one of the first videos of me showing you guys like swatches of their products it's a black owned brand it's available at target walmart and cvs now founded and owned by a woman of color designed for your color 100 percent vegan and cruelty free non-toxic ingredients and people and twelve thousand plus five star reviews this is amazing so because boss ladies only y'all know boss lady is my favorite red lipstick the lip bar lip bar so, I've seen this on Instagram. So, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, let me, let me fix it up real cute so we can get the full experience together. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. <gasps> oh, the lip bar. This is so freaking cute. Like, what presentation? Fire. So, it has this note card in it. I love me a note card. It says, calling all my it girls. Let me. And is, uh, enjoy this collection of our best-selling lippies, starting with our highly rated non-stop liquid matte lipstick featuring our best-selling and most highly rated shade boss. Lady, the only red you'll ever need, and that is a funny fact. 
when paired with any of our straight line lip liners or gloss of sheer glosses the combos are endless go ahead and build your own dynamic duos looking for a little less coverage but deeply hydrating give our soft kisses nourishing lipsticks a try not to save the best for last but we're here but we're so excited about our newest launch your prototype lip oils <gasps> lip oils a flower powered high shine lip oil that'll make you forget any other lip oil ever existed i can't wait to see the lip looks you'll create xoxo melissa and she looks so freaking beautiful i love melissa oh my god and it has product information about each of these on the back but babes <laughs> i'm excited okay so the lip oils because i did not know the lip bar had lip oils and they in a two like okay so it says the prototype botanical lip oil this lip oil is one of one just like you. Give me the positive affirmations that I need on this Tuesday morning. The prototype, the prototype botanical garden, garden, <laughs> botanical garden. The prototype botanical lip oil is a flower powered high shine lip oil infused with powerhouse ingredients like mango butter and lavender oil to soothe the moisturized dull dry lips all while delivering the perfect sheer wash of color hello hello melissa hello the lip bar i'm super excited okay so let's go ahead and get into this package so down here we have there it says meet our most loved mats so boss lady the only bread you'll ever need rich auntie i've never tried rich auntie before but this shade did go viral on tiktok so i'm super excited that i have it and can try it muse i didn't know about this shade this must be like a newer one because i have like the og ones like before they rebranded and became like tlb i have the lip bar like the one that says the lip bar so i never tried muse before so super excited to try this one prima donna that's my girl literally the most perfect purple matte lipstick savage because i'm a savage acting stupid what's happening <laughs> This brown is beautiful and playmate, my all-time favorite pink matte liquid lipstick. So we have the liquid lippies down here. And then here we have their lip liner. So we have straight boss, straight facts, and straight living lip liners. And then their lip glosses. So we have minimalist, which is the clear. We have extra, which is like this um, champagne. It has a little bit of glitter in here. And then Trophy Wife used to be one of my faves. Oh, so freaking pretty. It's like a nude. Um, can you focus, Sony? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have Game Changer, which is this like pink brown nude lip gloss. The focus. So we have these lip glosses and then we have these. They said this is their soft kisses nourishing lipsticks. Never tried these before, but they are four shades. Bear with Bear Me, Savvy, BFF, and Toasted. And then the lip oils. We have four shades. We have Obsessed, Can't Miss, Fan Club, and One of One. So I'm gonna do a swatching video or swatching videos with these so you guys will see the shades in you know upcoming content on my channel. If you guys are like, girl, we can't see, y'all gonna see, don't worry. But I wanna try this lip oil. So this is the Prototype Botanical Lip Oil. This one is in the shade Fan Club. And I'm guessing this is gonna be like the most neutral of the, oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Look at this. Look at this. Because I've never seen a lip oil in a tube. I usually see a lip oil with like an applicator, like a dip dip. So it's like situation, no, this is a squeeze. Like, look at this. I'm gonna switch this to 4K so y'all can really see what's going on. <laughs> we in 4K, baby. I should have switched it from the beginning, but I don't know how large these file sizes are about to be. <laughs> and I don't need my iMac ready to throw hands with me. But look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hold on. Let's... Oh, hold on. I'm 
Alyssa, the lip bar, my, I had a lip balm on before I tried this, but I'm going to try this on its own in the, in the next clip when I get back on camera, but I, like, excuse me, excuse me, yeah. So thank you so much, Le Bar. Literally one of my favorite black-owned brands. I've been bragging about this brand forever, and I'm so happy to see it get the recognition, the flowers, and everything that it deserves plus more because literally the brand is amazing. So as I mentioned, it's available in Target. It's available on their websites. It's available at Walmart, and it's available at CVS. So wherever you could run to to get this, go ahead and get your light feet going. Go ahead and get your light feet going. Melissa is also a Detroit girly. So, if you are looking to support, how did I, how was this on? If you're looking to support a black owned brand, I highly recommend supporting the lip bar. But that's all I got in PR for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done and I'll see you guys in a few. Good morning, it's the following day. I disappeared from the vlog yesterday because I have good reason. I had good reason. I was recording my how to edit video and I needed my camera and equipment to include in that video. So I had it like everything set up on the side and it was set up on the side, girl. <laughs> it was set up on the side and I never picked up my vlog camera to record anything yesterday. But I didn't do much. I just recorded that video, went to yoga class, came back home, ate and slept. So. Yeah, but today is Wednesday, March the 20th, and I just scheduled a nail appointment. You guys, look at my nails. Tragic, tragic. It looks fine from far away, but then when you get up close, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. So, <laughs> I am, why is it saying like, like, what is it giving? But either way, I'm gonna get my nails done today because I have an event to go to tomorrow. I didn't even tell you guys about it. I'm going to this like Women's History Month event tomorrow here in Houston, Texas. And whenever I step out, I just like to look good. I like to feel good. I like to smell good. And a part of looking good is your nails, girl. So these, they need to, they need to be edited real quick. And I have a cute little design I want to try. I hope that Cherry can bring this to life. I know that she will be able to. Let me show y'all. I was scrolling on Pinterest yesterday and I told myself, I always give myself these little like, I don't know how to call it, but I'll be like, oh, if I could do this, then this. Like, I was like, if I could find a nail salon, if I could find a nail design, I'll go get my nails done tomorrow. But it's like, girl, you know you need to get your nails done anyway. So, like, what you trying to give yourself an incentive for? You know what I'm saying? But this is the nail design. So cute, right? And it's perfect for spring because we are now in spring. Yesterday was the first day of spring. Like, hello? Y'all know I'm a spring baby. My birthday is May 6th. I am a Taurus. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I love your energy. Like, it's just something about you. Yeah, it's because I'm a Taurus, okay? It's because I'm a Taurus. Literally the best, the females <laughs> are literally the best sign ever. We're so cool. We're so down to earth. We're so relatable. We're so caring. Like, everything about Taurus women, amazing. So, yes, I'm a Taurus. My birthday is May 6th. I'm turning 30 this year. And I sort of kind of have birthday plans. Not really. It's, it's, it's a lot to explain. But either way, I'm about to make breakfast because it's the most important meal of the day. I've been putting down the bagels and picking up the oatmeal because this tupa of mine, it has to go. It has to go. I'm leaving that in the 29th year of my life. <laughs> so this is the oatmeal I like. This is the Quaker maple and brown sugar. I'm go ahead and make it. And then I add this protein. I actually need to buy more of it. This um, granola protein. The kind. This is the almond butter one. This one has 10 grams of protein per serving. Is it per serving? 10 grams, no, four grams, wait. It has four grams of protein for a snack size and 10 grams of protein for a bowl. Girl, it's good. 
it's good. So I have my oats in here. And then I use almond milk. This is the almond milk I use one from Trader Joe's. I always hear that my microwave is quiet. We're gonna see when we edit this cup child. But I'm gonna have this orange juice. This is fresh orange juice that I used. And can y'all believe that this was probably like nine oranges? <laughs> yeah, I used a whole bag of oranges and mm, it was a little bit more than this because I mixed the rest with another drink, but What it tastes like. It's all right. It's okay. I think these were like navel oranges. I'm very specific about the types of fruits I like now. But this is okay. Maybe I'm happy I only have one just to get it over with. But it's very like um tart ish. I don't know. Something about it has like a very mm, aftertaste. Y'all get what I'm saying? I don't know. It's not like sweet, sweet. Like orange juice, I like it sweet, sweet. Like fresh, fresh. But this has been in the fridge for over 72 hours. And they usually say like juices are good for 72 hours. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know, chop. Oats are warmed. I'm going to sprinkle in some granola. I just take a handful. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like when I record in 4K and the lighting isn't that great, it's kind of like dark. So that's why the last clip looked like that. But we're back in 1080. So either way, I'm editing my how to edit video. <laughs> and I realized I haven't changed a battery in my tripod in forever. This is the Sony tripod.com from the Sony ZV-1. So cute. So clutch. I just use it to hold the camera up, but it has functionality so you can like zoom in and zoom out, start and stop recording. And I think this is gonna be helpful when I pull up to my nail appointment today because I'm in a vlog. So I'll show you guys quickly how I swap out the batteries. So if you lift the legs, like so, <laughs> there's this little section here. So you just pull down on the tab. Um, I think you have to do both at the same time. You have to pull out and pull down. Okay, I got it. So you have to pull this out first where it says one and then pull this down where it says two. And then this is the battery that this tripod takes. This is the CR2032 battery. I have an energizer pack. I'll link these down below. I don't think I put links in my last vlog. Yeah, it be too much, but this is a pack I have. I had a six pack. These are also the same batteries that my lapel microphone used to take. I think, is this the same? Either way, child. I'm gonna go ahead and change the battery. So this is what the battery looks like. Can y'all see? It's like the size of a nickel. So you just have to press it in and it pops out. So that's on. And then just press this in. Make sure it's in. Make sure it's in there. And then you just put this cover back on. And that's it. So now let me switch my camera to this. I'll put a video down below too of how I figured out how to link the tripod to the camera. <gasps> it's working! <laughs> yeah, she is back. Yup, she's back. She's back. She's back. She's back, period. So it's a little later. I'm about to get ready to head to my nail appointment. But I want to show you guys something I got in PR yesterday from Dermalogica. This is their Power Bright Dark Spot Peel. I've heard great things about this on TikTok and specifically great things from women of color saying that this indeed helps to fade dark spots and hyperpigmentation within five days. Five days! But I wanted to start it so bad last night, but basically the night before last night I used retinol. And also people say that this may cause purging 
and it's a peel so i'm like i just want my skin to be free for a week so then i'm gonna start this on monday and do it monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday because i don't really have anything going on next week during the week and then we'll see what the skin is looking like next weekend but i at least want to have my videos for next week recorded so i don't have to think about that i don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna get those videos done this weekend and then we are starting this on Monday. So you're supposed to use this for five consecutive days and then you're supposed to use it for two to three times a week after that. It has 12% AHA, PHA, it has tranexamic acid, niacinamide, and I believe it also has like a turmeric butter blend. I'm excited to try this. This retails for $79, so if it works, I think it's worth it, but I'm gonna be the one to tell y'all. And y'all be trusting my opinions. So y'all know I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all and let y'all know is it worth your money or not. But either way, let's go ahead and get ready for this nail appointment. I'm gonna put my hair up because I don't know what this weather is doing outside if it's rainy, humid. But I think the best option is just to put it up in a puff. So I'm just gonna gather my hair. And then I'm using this scrunchie. I got these from Amazon. It came in like a pack of like 30 colors in it. It came in a pack with like 30 colors in it. I'm just gonna wrap this around one time. And the color of the scrunchie doesn't matter because my hair hides it, so. I'll just put it a little closer. And boom, this is my hair. Outfit, I already picked it out, let me show y'all for my nail appointment today i like to get dressed up i like to get a little cute i'm just putting on this tear sweatsuit this is like an olive green color i think it looks so good it's real comfy love it so let me throw this on what suit is on i'm gonna put on these red prada optical glasses i think it'll be a nice contrast with the olive color cute right Fragrance, I'm going to put on my Vanilla Woods from Seven Virtues. Y'all have to get this from the Sephora sale. This stuff smells so good. And it's an affordable fragrance, in my opinion, for the quality of the scent. And then lip gloss, I'm going to put on this Milk Makeup Lip Oil in Chocolate Cane. This is the closest like lip oil product I have tried so far. not too slippery it's not too sticky put some earrings on i'm just gonna put on these silver studs i wish i had time to steam this sweater because it's silver and gold but i may let me see if it's giving jacket on top weather it's 61 degrees i may just throw a jacket on top kind of to hide the wrinkles but also because it's 60 degrees outside i think that's cold and then i'm gonna put on this ring this pearl ring i got this on a trip i forgot which trip but this cute little pearl ring and i think with that we are all ready to go are we are we i'm gonna get my nails done what what nails done what what you ain't a girl if you ain't got your nails did go ahead and go get your nails did i ain't gonna say it again you need your nails did you ain't a girl if you ain't got your nails did <laughs> this is why i'm an accountant because i can't rap like <laughs> six here nine to five job girl oh y'all will be so proud of me and i'm gonna be proud of me too hold on i'm about to go get my nails done and y'all know when i get my nails done when i go get my nails done I always complain about one thing. Whenever I go get my nails done, I always complain about one thing. What's that one thing? What is that one thing? It's always, I forgot my AirPods. I don't have my AirPods. I thought I should have brought my AirPods. I'm always having some type of complaint about my AirPods. So, I finally remembered them. Shout out to me. Oh, let me on 100%. <laughs> Say that. Say that my wallet i need to find my car key <laughs> i have an extra battery for you guys i have my car key i have my other phone in case i want to do a tiktok a tiki tiki tock yeah tiktok i have a snack because 
I'm always hungry. And I still haven't finished this nasty orange juice. So let me, I'm not getting the oranges from Aldi anymore. I'm like, I can't, I can't. My last name. If somebody made an account with my name, you should have my name since you call my phone number. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> these scam people are getting out of hand and don't let them get you. Do not allow them to get you. Somebody just call my work phone. First of all, the only people who have this phone number are my work clients, respectfully. So, a phone number call and they're like, oh, this is the Amazon fraud department and we're calling because uh there's a something so he's like i need you to verify your first and your last name i said but if you're calling me you should know my first and my last name because you clearly have my phone number like make it make sense and then he got upset and hung up like yeah go ahead do that because he was about to get hung up on anyway but i just like playing with them sometimes because i'm like do y'all not know who y'all calling do y'all not know who y'all are calling y'all are calling the ceo of the fbi <laughs> that is me because i am cyber fraud bs protected okay i'm not the one i'm not this album still slaps top to bottom reciprocate Ooh. yeah 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 oh now you stay it's a bad man i'm a man i'm a up to the nail salon i'm actually five minutes early so i am proud of myself like i am i need to change my battery no okay so i have everything that i need um 85 percent i like to record my tiktoks on this phone because this is a 13 my other phone is a 12 so the quality on this, it just hits a little bit different. I am low on memory on all of my phones. It's crazy at this point. Like, I have to delete, delete, delete. I need to actually sit down one day and delete all the BS I have in my phones. But for now, I just have to play it by ear, I guess. Okay. Girl, let's go get these nails did. Here's a before once again. These cuticles are ridiculous. Oh. Oh. This is my decision. I don't think you listen. Yo, less. I don't think you listen. For me to come out, it must mean I'm a teacher. It must mean I'm not the same. It must mean I'm a your case. For me to come out, it means that I'm a teacher. I want to show you my world. Yeah, of course, girl. 
I was in the freaking salon for two hours. I wasn't expecting for it to take that long. But I low-key feel like this is why I had stopped getting designs on my nails. Because I just get impatient after a while. Like, I just get so impatient. So... Yeah, but my nails came out really good. I love, like, oh my gosh, she bodied. The details, attention to detail, fire. But I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. I didn't even really have breakfast. I just had oatmeal, but I feel like it didn't do much to me. So we going to Kava. What, what? Kava. It's been a minute. I'm going to get me a bowl because I deserve it. Oh. Oh my God. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Thank you, God. So your girl's back home. And I'm laying on the couch because I want to take a nap. I don't like napping on my bed because that always turns into a sleep. So I'm going to lay here and nap for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. And then I want to wake up and go to the gym. So we're going to see if we have the energy to do that when I get up. But I'm so happy that I finally did something snazzy to my nails. Like, if you've been watching my channel, you guys know it's been a while since I have done, like, a design design. But look how Cherry ate. Like, let me zoom in for y'all. Cherry ate down. She ate down. She ate down. And in the inspo picture, the thumb was, like, a regular French with white. But I'm like, I don't want that. So, I found this other design. And I was like, oh, that would look cute on the thumb with this, so. And you know it's lit. You know your nails are lit when they ask you when you check out, like, can we take a picture of your nails? So that's when you guys saw me go in that back room, <laughs> that mysterious back room. And it was dark. I'm like, where's my girl Zoe? Because that's the girl who usually takes the picture of the nails in the back. And she was like, oh, she's in Vietnam. So I don't know if Zoe watches my channel, but girl, if you do. I hope you're having a great time, but the girls miss you at Milano, so don't don't be away for too long. But either way, I'm going to take a nap because I don't know if you guys can tell from my eyes, I'm exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted to the point where I could barely think. So I'm going to take a nap, and then I'll be back. Guess who actually woke up from her nap and made it to the gym? Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Me. I don't know if it's a new nails or what, but your girl's in her bag. So I'm about to get in here and get my workout in. There's literally no parking spot, so I'm going to assume it's very packed in here. So hopefully I could vlog and show you guys what I do today or some of what I do today. If not, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Sway, where have you been? Nobody knows me. No money gone. What and what and what? Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. March the 21st and your girl just finished working for the day and golden hour is hitting like <laughs> golden hour is eating but look at the skin y'all look at the skin okay okay don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it just lay in it spent all day in it so i had a very long day i think the last clip was when i was about to go in the gym yesterday so i ended up going to the gym ended up working out it was super crowded like i literally had to find a corner in the gym to work out and i'm just like oh no 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 i don't like this so i don't know about going at that time i don't know if it's a wednesday thing but it was so chaotic. I'm like, oh my God. I wanted to leave, but I'm like, I'm already here. I already did my cardio. My heart is already racing. I just got to finish. I just got to pull through and finish my workout. And I did. So I got home last night and just went to sleep. So either way, today I was working real hard, you know, making my money, making my scrilla or whatever. And I also was able to edit a vlog for you guys. My how to edit video, but... It took longer than expected to edit and export. It ended up being an hour and 18 minutes long. When I tell y'all it's detail, it's detail. But I'm trying to decide whether I should make it go live this evening or tomorrow. I hate uploading late in the day because by the time it goes up, it's going to be like 
7 8 p.m in new york time like on eastern standard time and if i put it up tomorrow it's friday and my videos on fridays don't usually perform well so it's 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 a lot and it's also a longer video so people tend to watch longer videos early in the day so i think i might just bite the bullet and upload it tomorrow so i think i'm just gonna do that because yeah but either way today was very productive i literally just sat here and planned my next few sit down videos so I want to start that dermalogical peel that I showed you guys yesterday, I believe, the Power Bright. But people have been saying it causes purging, and it's also a peel, right? So the skin is not going to be in its best form. I don't want to have to put on makeup during that time. So I am allowing myself to do that peel next week, Monday to Friday. So with that being said, I just need to make sure that all of my content for next week and possibly even like into the following Tuesday is already done and recorded. No, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two sit down videos beforehand and then my third sit down video would be the peel because it's five days long. So I'm gonna show you guys the progress each and every day of me doing the peel. I'm gonna do before pictures. I'm gonna take pictures each and every day. I wanna document the whole process for you guys so that y'all can see if it really works. Cause I'm like, for 79 cash, if it's me, I want to know what's tea. Like, tell me the truth and nothing but the truth, Your Honor. So I'm going to show you guys each and every day how that works. So we'll do that. But I'm just so excited that I'm back in like my sit down video bag because the vlogs are cool. But it, it, vlogs are a lot to edit. They are, especially my vlogs, because my vlogs always end up being long because I just I just want to keep chatting with y'all. I just keep wanting to show y'all what I'm doing, and it ends up being boom, an hour, boom, an hour and a half, you know? So either way, I was supposed to go to an event today, but when I tell you guys it was pouring this morning, it was pouring cats and dogs, and I'm like, who this for? Like, who's really going to go out in this weather? Not I, but... The sun has been like in and out this afternoon, but I just don't feel comfortable driving because if it starts another downpour, I will be sick. S-I-C-K. So I'm just going to save myself the troubles and I'm going to stay home. I twisted my hair up to prepare for me recording content tomorrow. So I just refreshed my twist out and this 4K business is killing me, but I don't remember when, when it even cut off, but... What I was saying is that I twisted my hair out since I know I'm not going to the event and I'm just chilling inside for the day. I think I might skip the gym today just because I really just want to relax and just get myself together. And I've been going so hard in the gym. I'm proud of myself. But you have to know and realize when well, you need a break. And also I feel like we commonly, like we associate being productive with working, being on the go, doing this, doing that, doing that. And we also have to realize that resting is also being productive because that allows us to recharge, that allows us to reset, that allows us to refresh. Always being on go, eventually you're going to crash. So a part of productivity is also taking breaks, knowing when to take breaks, actually taking the breaks and actually resetting yourself, your mind, because the, all of that has to be together before you can do anything that is going to lead to success. So this is me providing you with a reminder that productivity shouldn't and isn't always associated with being on go, doing what you have to do, resting, sleeping, taking breaks. All of that contributes to productivity as well. So don't let nobody tell you otherwise, okay? Because if they do be like, Kinesthetic said, da 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 And yes, I said that. Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> but... I also feel like, I also feel like, I also feel like something has been going on and I really don't appreciate it. And, and, um, I'm sure it's not just me. So let's chat down below in the comments. Okay. I feel like who are these brands trying to take my money? All these brands trying to take my money and I don't like that. I have been tempted to I have been tempted to purchase so many things in the last few days. But I fought back. I fought back. I said 
Y'all don't know how hard I work for my money and not the bills. Like, the bills are due. The bills are due next week. So, I don't have any more money for you. Fenty Beauty had a sale, 30% off. Today's the last day for 30% off. I really, really, really wanted the jumbo body butter, but I had to sit back and think about it because even with me planning my video for the Sephora sale, I'm really not planning on purchasing that many things because I have so many things that I currently have that I need to finish. Like, the message in church last week was to finish the assignment, and that applied to so many different aspects of my life. One of them being... I'll start a product and I won't finish it because I have so much stuff. Granted, I know, I know that is a blessing. I know that is a huge blessing, but I have to finish what I have before I go on and buy new things and try new things. Like, so with that being said, I am buying it from Fancy Beauty website. I literally was at the point where I was about to hit submit and I was like, Kendra, you just got three bags of body butters from Josie Moran. Why are you swiping your card to buy an $80 body butter on sale? You know, like, I love the Fenty Beauty body butter. But once I get to a point where I have no body butters left, that's when I'll feel comfortable and confident purchasing that jumbo size body butter. And then today, well, not really today, but Jackie Ina announced today <laughs> that... She's launching a fragrance on April 2nd. So you guys are going to be watching this vlog on Easter Sunday. So I haven't even said it yet, but happy Easter Sunday. We're going to speak about that later in this vlog or the next vlog. But either way, happy Easter Sunday, girl. But she's launching her fragrance on April 2nd. If you know anything about Jackie Ina, you know she is a fragrance fanatic. She has probably tried every fragrance under the sun. So I'm very intrigued in seeing what her fragrance would hit for because girl, after you try all the fragrances, your product has to hit. There's no other option. Like there is no other option. The check has to clear. The bill has to like she has to eat like she has to eat like eating has never been done before because there's no way that she's gonna enter this space and not do it justice you get what i'm saying so something about me and my soul and my spirit knows that that fragrance is gonna eat right but at the same time where the money coming from <laughs> where the money coming from Moan for no. <laughs> So I made a promise to myself because we don't know details on the fragrance yet. I don't think we know the notes, but I'm just ready to swipe my card because I'm like, it's Jackie Ina, fragrance guru, making a fragrance. Like what? <laughs> but I told myself that if it's $100 or less, then I'll purchase it. If it's more than $100, it's going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait because birthday is coming up. Bills are coming up. It's just so many things coming up that I'm just like... I can't be spending money like I'm a drug dealer. I can't. I cannot do this any longer. I can't. I should have never been doing it in the first place, but I can't do it any longer. Either way, that happened. Then, I literally just saw Jasmine Ardell's Instagram reel, and she was telling us, I didn't even know about it, so shout out to her for sharing that reel that Zara now has hair care products. Come on, Zara. But I really, 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 really genuinely want to know if it hits on type four here because you can make all the hair products in the world but to me to myself in my mind it doesn't matter if it does not work for type four hair because every like you know what i'm saying that's the true test of if the product is really formulated correctly so i low-key want to try it but at the same time i have so many hair products so where am i going buying zara hair care products <laughs> so i said all of that to say I'm going to reinforce the message from service last week. Finish the assignment. Finish your assignment. Don't get distracted. Don't, you know, make the noise consume you. Focus on what you have to do and get it done. And this is like um an example on a smaller level. But, yeah, I'm just looking at everything around me this week. And I'm like, girl, did you finish your assignment? Or you still working or what you doing like what is you really doing and i really been having to have that chat with myself because in so many different areas of my life i'm just like i start things and i don't finish i don't i'm gonna be honest with myself so yeah everybody's trying to take my money and i will not allow them because i am practicing discipline and i am working on finishing my assignments versus keep putting my hands in the fire keep putting my hands in different pots and i'm not really 
I'm not really finishing. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, so that was my little pep talk I had with myself. I just needed to share it because I felt like somebody needed to hear that. I don't know who, but somebody needed to hear that. But I am literally obsessed with my nails. Like, do you guys see how Cherry ate? She really ate down. But my plan for this evening is to clean up my kitchen. I want to cook, but I don't know what I want to cook. So, yeah, I need to figure that out. And then I just really want to lay on the couch and do nothing. Like, that's my vibe. I just want to lay on the couch and do nothing this evening because I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. I just deserve it. <laughs> Yo, that song is so fire to me. And Cash Cobain is from the Bronx. I mean, at this point, is this still an argument? that the Bronx creates the best people. Like, yeah, okay. But happy Friday, today is Friday, March the 22nd. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to see everybody in the functions this summer looking like a worm. <laughs> because who, like who said? <laughs> Yo, I am weak, but happy Friday. I just, I'm out of breath. From that little worm dance but <laughs> i just finished recording my sephora video my recommendations for the sale and there's a low-key two or three more videos i want to do related to the sale so hopefully i could get them done so y'all could see them but in the meantime for sure <laughs> i might go to target and I might go to Trader Joe's. That is my version of the girls are outside. That is very much so my version of the girls are outside. But the girls are definitely going to be outside tomorrow. Because we have a dinner date tomorrow. Y'all know I've been loving me a little dinner date. So I don't know if that's going to be in this vlog or the next vlog. I have to see how much footage I have for this vlog. Because I've just been picking up the camera and going. Girl, hold on. Let me change this. Got an attitude, but you bad shit, so I ain't mad at you. Yeah, I need to see how much footage I have in this vlog before I make any further commitment. But I am in a great mood today. My hair looks so freaking good. It looks so good. But I have to give y'all an update because I tried something in my hair yesterday and I feel like... I don't know if it's not as good because it was reformulated or it's not as good because I haven't used it in a while. So my hair is like, who this for? But let me show y'all. Got an attitude, but you better shit so I ain't mad at you. Like what? I don't know how to do the dance, y'all. Y'all gotta teach me. <laughs> but I tried this on my hair. This is the Cantu leave-in conditioner. If you've been here for a while, you guys know that I literally was obsessed with this stuff for years, for years, for years. But my hair is in a whole different era now. If you guys don't know, I have blonde hair, cut it all off. And now this is a whole new fresh set of hair. We love that. A lot of people told me, girl, just put a dye on top of it. But I'm like, no, it's not going to hit the same. You feel me? But either way, I used this to do a twist out last night. And it looks cool. It looks good. But I know my hair, okay? So my initial twist out was using this. Damn, I used a good amount. But my initial twist out was using this Mish Mousse. This stuff is so good, y'all. If y'all haven't watched my video reviewing this, I gotta go wash that because this stuff is fire. And I did an initial twist out with that and then I did a retwist with it and my hair loves that stuff so much. And then I did a retwist with this yesterday and I feel like it made my hair like more voluminous, which I love, but the definition is definitely from the Mish Mousse. So yeah, the definition is definitely from the leftover Mish Mousse that I had in my hair. So I don't think I would use this in my hair on its own. Maybe I'll try it just so you guys can see what I'm speaking about. It doesn't really define the hair. It just like volumizes it. And 
I like this combination. Like my hair looks good today, but I wanted to get definition from this, not from the leftover boost. So either way, I just wanted to give y'all an update on that because I told y'all I'm going to start reporting back about all of the stuff that I'm trying on and off camera. Okay. Necklace. I know somebody's going to ask. It's from Zara. If you guys have not seen... Oh my god, I hope it wasn't messed up like this in my video. Wait, what's going on? If y'all haven't seen my recent um, Zara haul, make sure you guys check it out. But I think it sold out online. So if you want to find it, you kind of have to go in the store at this point. I really hope it was not messed up in the second half of my video. I will be so pissed off. Got an attitude, but you don't Maybe got messed up when I was doing a little worm dance. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we, ooh. Ooh. Got an eyes on me, matches on me, matches on me, matches on me, matches on I saw these different versions come back way It's good and tragic Keep it on me, no need in person You are but you don't know So forget my Hey guys, so I just pulled up to the gym this is about to be my fourth workout of the week and then tomorrow we'll make five so two weeks in a row your girl has made her five out of five or is going to make her five out of five manifesting it okay when you cross your fingers and you say the manifestation it helps lock it in a little bit more it's a little different but yeah i'm about to go in here and get my workout and i hope it's not too too packed but this evening sunset is absolutely stunning like i'm gonna see if i can insert a picture here but it's so freaking beautiful like i just want to sit here and stare at the sunset because it's so freaking beautiful but i'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in i'm feeling kind of pumped i need to find me a good playlist a good good playlist like a good dance hall afro beats playlist on soundcloud to get me through my workout i've been listening to the same three over and over again to the point where i freaking memorize the songs <laughs> the order of the songs so i'm gonna see if i can find anyone and if i do i'll share with you guys in the description box but let's go ahead and get this workout and grow Good morning. Happy Saturday. Morning. I am currently at Target and I'm here because I am going to do my hair later up in a bun. My hair looks a mess right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're bunning it later today. So I need some of my essentials because I actually left them in my suitcase that I left behind. So, I need to get a hard bristle brush. I need to get Eco Styler Gel, Snap Ties, and 
I think that's it. But either way, it's just so crazy, right? Because I don't know if you guys saw Risa Tisa did like a two-part story time. Only two parts this time, yeah. <laughs> At least that's all I saw, the first two parts of her basically being able to comfortably go back and target and i was watching the video and i feel like we are so blessed that when people don't have the same blessings as us we don't realize it sometimes like the fact that she said she has not been to target in years because she just didn't feel comfortable going in there it was just crazy and i was just like wow like the things that we take for granted is really wild but I just wanted to share that sentiment and just speak about it real quick because if you are struggling or if you are in a place where you know you're blessed, never forget where you came from. And that's in anything. That's not just being able to go to Target. That's being able to have food on the table. That's being able to have a roof over your head. That's being able to have running water to take a shower and brush your teeth and wash your face. Like These are all things that we take for granted sometimes. And I'm saying we because I'm included too. So I'm just here to remind you to always be thankful for what you have. Always remember that you are blessed no matter how much or how little you have. And God is always going to be great. And that's on period. So... Yeah, I got dressed to go to the gym, so I'm going to go to the gym right after I have on my little blue workout set. But I slept so good last night. I don't know what it was, but I slept good. I'm still tired because I didn't go to bed until like after midnight, and I woke up at like 8, 830. But um, I slept so good. I feel so good. My skin. <sighs> Can y'all see the greatness? Hold on, I gotta dim down a little bit. Can y'all see the skin? Get into the skin. I'm so excited to do this peel next week because, babes, the skin is gonna be skinning like the skin never skinned before. <laughs> this is so cute. 25 cash. Yes or no? went in Target and got exactly what they said they were gonna get so first of all I was very tempted because I went in Target and the DVH collaboration with Target launched today so they had it front and center they said come and give us your coins we know you got paid yesterday let us just you know dig in your pockets a little bit so I looked and I saw some things that were cute I saw this set that I actually recorded a tiktok for i'm about to edit it and post it and i also saw this yellow dress that i was like it would look super fab on big m on my mom so i was calling her to see if she wanted me to get it for her she didn't answer and this set it was 80 dollars it was 80 dollars and it wasn't bad for 80 dollars but it's just the fact that it was a colored printed set and i told you guys in my last um haul my zara haul that when it comes to sets i kind of want things that are more universal so that you know oh my mom is calling me back now that i left the store hey mom Hi. i was calling you because i was in target and i saw so yeah i didn't end up getting a set because i'm working on building my wardrobe and i really want functional pieces right now and to me that would be like a one-off situation i could wear the shirt with like jeans or even low key on its own because it does give like dress length. I could wear the pants with a different top, but I didn't end up getting it. But let me show you guys what I did get. So I got these. Of course, the the leaf blowers are going, but I got these snap ties. This is what I use to like gather my hair when it's time for me to do like a high puff or a bun. If you have thick natural hair, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get these. I just like get a new ones because they don't last too long especially with my thick hair and my rough hands so yeah i got some eco styler gel because this is what i like to top my gels off with when i do my buns and then i got this brush which i'm really excited about because i haven't bought a new like hard brush or brush in so long the one that i currently have that i left in the suitcase i had that since i was living in new york so i haven't purchased a new brush in so long but i saw this one it's the annie styling brush and i'll link it down below because it was like three something from target but the bristles are hard so they are going to gather my hair love that so that's everything i got from target i'm about to sit here and edit my tiktok before i head over to the gym and i'll check in with y'all when i get to the gym 
Yeah, I'm just proud of myself for going in Target and actually getting what I said I needed to get. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, standing on business all 2024. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this again and again and again. Cherry ate the freak down on my nails. Like, I fall in love with my nails more and more each and every day because what? What? Like, everything, the shape, the acrylic color in the background because that is acrylic, it's not... A base color it's the acrylic color like the design a precision of everything fire 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 flame spitter Either way, I finished my workout. I was sweating so much in the gym, y'all, like dripping sweat. I'm just like, I always wonder, like, how do people drip sweat like this? But I was putting in that work, okay? I was putting in that work so the body finna ton up, period. But I'm going out to dinner tonight, and I have this look in mind that I want to do as far as my outfit. But I need a top because you guys know I don't have tops like that. So I'm about to run to, why is it so dark? I'm about to run to Forever 21 real quick. To see if I could get me like a little crop graphic top. That's what I have in mind to do with this look. So hopefully, fingers crossed, cross them twice. I told y'all when you cross your fingers and manifest, I'ma find a crop top graphic shirt. It happens. You just gotta cross your fingers real tight and say the manifestation. But um, I'll check in with y'all when I get to Forever 21 and let y'all know what I see if I find anything. But yeah. Can you kiss me more? This shirt, this is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, outfit is basically secure or our shirt is secured, so I'm about to head home now. I can't wait to put everything together later so y'all can see the full vision I have in my head. And we're gonna take pictures. I'm excited. I'm awake. <laughs> hey y'all, I just woke up from a nap. I was so tired. I needed to power that before I even thought about getting ready for tonight. So I took a nap for like an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. That was enough. Because if I lay down for too long, baby, <laughs> wrap it up. Call it a night. But I'm about to start getting ready. So I have my Target bag here. I'm going to start off by doing my hair. So let's do this top knot bun on this thick. I'm gonna take my bonnet off in the um, bathroom. Okay, so let's transform this into a tight, 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 tight bun. Whew, so my hair is looking like right now. It's an old twist down. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna use to do my top knot bun. So first of all, you need like some type of like spritz situation to dampen the hair. So I have this water bottle that just, I see that? Yeah, okay. So I have this. I use two gels. So I have this gel that I just want to finish this. This is a TGI and Curl Balm gel. <sighs> Honest opinion, I wasn't really a fan, but you guys know if you haven't watched my channel for a while, I love this TGI and Miracle Repair X gel. So I have a few of these because I picked them up when I was in New York at a random beauty beauty at a random beauty supply store. So I'm gonna finish this off and then once I finish this off I'm gonna use this as like the base layer gel and then the top layer gel I like to use eco styler so that's why I picked this up from Target earlier to secure the hair we're gonna use these snap ties these are good you just like wrap them around versus like twisting a scrunchie better for thick hair you need a brush so I got this one from Target I'm just gonna go ahead and open it y'all can see what it look like so this is how the brush looks the bristles are very 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 tight 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 
that's what you need if you have thick hair. So I have this. You're gonna need some scrunchies to like wrap your bun around after you make the puff. So I have these scrunchies. These are just like goodie scrunchies, the brand goodie. And you're gonna need some got to be. I use got to be to lick down my edges. And I use this little edge brush comb situation. I got this from African Pride. That's the brand that makes this. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I can't talk into it, so I'ma just put some music over it so y'all could just see the steps that I'm taking. Let's get this hair done. And we're doing okay on time. It's currently 8.15. I told myself I want to leave the house around 9, so let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I got ready so fast. Like, I got ready super quick. This is the outfit. Let me show you guys quickly. I'm gonna have to safely pit my pants. But here's the outfit. Quick overview. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now because I'm already running late. So I'll see you guys when I meet up with the girls. Giving face, giving. Okay, giving. we're here Just taking giving. pictures. The. Nice face, giving. The. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Children all by yourself. 
but he wants me to let you know you can still depend on him even in a desert place uh, your job might have been outsourced still got all of them bills to pay uh, not only will he fill you up in here uh, but he'll give you a little praise doggy bag to go you can go ahead and get your praise on in here arms around your old black cell keep on praising his name Twelve baskets full. One basket to remind us that he'll take care of us every month in the year. In January. In February. Pray of him. Believe me. Text teaches us that the meeting ain't over until Jesus says it's over. The hungry masses were now full. They had dined on the word. They had dined on the fish. We always want to pat ourselves on the back. Talk about this ham was a great day. Uh, listen, I've been on this journey long enough now to know that every day with Jesus is a great day. But you've got to lay proper groundwork. God wants to visit your ministry, but you've got to lay proper groundwork. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, hi to the vlog. Hello to everyone. Okay. Ooh, They've been asking for you. I'm cooking. They've been asking for you. How is Big M? Oh, I'm doing well. Okay. Hope everyone is well too. <laughs> yeah. Last night? Last night, last night, <laughs> we had a mother freaking time. The fact that my shoes from last night are still in my car, it should tell y'all everything y'all have to know about last night. But we had a time. We went to Love here in Houston. Whenever y'all come to Houston, y'all have to go to Love, okay? That's my friend's spot, and it's really good. Like, the DJ is good, the drinks are good, the food is good. That's where I got that um, fried snapper. I don't know if you guys remember from a few vlogs ago. But either way, it's vibes. Add it to your list for when you come to Houston, Texas, because you're going to come to Houston, Texas, okay? So, we went to Love, and then afterwards, we ended up going to the spot called Clover. It was like an after-hour spot. It was cool. But the thing with going out in Houston is I feel like the DJs all play the same music. And literally kind of like in the same order. So when you hear something different, it's like, oh snap, alright, let me see what you got going on. But yeah, so y'all know I don't really go out like that. I go out <laughs> once a quarter. <laughs> this is my Q1 outing. Q2 will be my birthday. But I don't go out often, so it's not an issue for me. Y'all know I'm a home body. But either way, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm doing like a Sunday reset. I cleaned my bathroom this morning as you guys saw. I washed my makeup brushes. I I need to do laundry when I get back home. But I decided to come get my groceries before it gets too late. So it's currently like 3 p.m. 3.18. And I'm about to head into Whole Foods. And then afterwards, I'm going to go into Trader Joe's. And then... I haven't ate anything, which is an issue for me. So I'm going to see what they have in the Whole Foods Hot Food Bar because y'all know I love me some Whole Foods Hot Food. And if they don't have anything I like, I'm just going to stop at Chipotle because you can never go wrong with Chipotle. I literally work out so that I can look and feel good in my clothes and so that I can eat Chipotle whenever I want to. Like that, That is the life that I aspire to have. Like That is happiness for me. So that's what I do. But either way, we're about to go into Whole Foods. I put my AirPods in because... When I'm in the grocery store, I just like to vibe out. Like, I don't want anybody speaking to me. I don't want anyone disrupting my peace. So, I'm just going to go ahead and block it out from now. So, let's go. Working on self-control, the baby. Oh, feeling again, anti-social. Damn, you 
The girls are starving and I am the girls indeed. So I went in Whole Foods. I just got mangoes because their mangoes look real good. And ah, I'm going to try making a little mango juice or whatever. I got hummus. And then I think the food. And I ended up spending like $25. <laughs> y'all, let me show y'all my food. This meal right here. It was basically the price of a Chipotle bowl, but... Like, let me try something new y'all know me always wanting to try something new so let me show y'all i ended up getting the i think it's coconut curry chicken and the vegan yellow rice the rice fire goes crazy all the time this meal was eleven dollars and 27 cents y'all see you mm -hmm. let's try it i'm nervous but i like their curry vegetables mm. hold on whole food Hold on. Who taught y'all how to curry chicken? This is so good. The chicken is so like tender. Mm. If you've never tried food from Whole Foods Top Bar, what are you waiting for? It's expensive, but it's good. So now I'm about to go to Trader Joe's. I know it's going to be a Zoom because it's 4 o'clock now. Or 345. So I'll probably just end up showing y'all what I get when I get home. I want to know how they got the chicken so damn tender. Here's how the chicken looks. So good, right? And then with the rice, I don't care who's watching me right now. But with the rice, fire. Mm. I'm trying to do a day in the life on my IG stories. Let's see how that goes. But also, I couldn't get the vlog up for you guys today because I still have to edit it. And I'm not going to rush to do something just to get it done on time. I'm going to make sure I take my time and actually get it done the way that... I know it'll speak to reflect the type of work that I do. So I'm going to upload it tomorrow. When I get home, I'm going to finish editing it. Yeah, my vlogs, I've been having like four hours worth of footage. Like, I love that for me. I love that for y'all. But when it's time to edit it, hmm. so yeah, let me eat and then go. And I'll see y'all either at Trader Joe's or when I get back home. Your girl is back home. And I want to do a little haul of everything I got from grocery shopping. So let's go ahead and get into it. Whole Foods. I told you guys I got that $11.27 meal. It was good though. So I'm not even mad. I got these mangoes. So I didn't know how to pick mangoes. So I called my mom, of course. And she was like, the mangoes should be yellow and firm. And these are. So I'm excited to try these. I don't know if they're going to juice. But if not, I don't mind eating a mango like on its own. So I got mangoes. I got this hummus from Whole Foods. I love this hummus, the roasted red pepper hummus. This, I'm going to show y'all what I'm about to do because I'm about to shake it up. That's all I got from Whole Foods. And then my guilty obsession, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I got some goodies. I got this to try for the first time. This is the ciabatta demi baguette. So it's basically the same as I guess the ciabatta roll. It's just like in a sub form. My mom had tried this when we went to Trader Joe's and she really enjoyed it. So I got it so that I can make a sub with this on it. Put it in the air fry. Wait till y'all see how I freak this up tomorrow. This will probably be like a lunch meal. Okay. I got two pita chips because these are freaking good. These are amazing. I've been trying to find, or I've been trying to stick to healthier ways to snack. So, yeah. But I've been feeling like I'm not a big snacker as I was before. But it could just be due to me up in my meals and just eating more meals with nutritional value if that makes sense but either way 
I got this. I don't know if I'm the only person that feels like the knockoff cereals hit harder than the original cereals. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm a huge cereal girl. But I love the Cinnamon Toast Crunch from Aldi. That is my, this, this is my jam. This Millville Cinnamon Crunch Squares, these are fire. These are fire. But I like the Honey Nut Cheerios from Trader Joe's. I tried the Honey Nut Cheerios from Aldi, but I didn't really like them. So yeah, Honey O's from Trader Joe's. I got these oranges from Trader Joe's to try because I don't like the oranges from Aldi. We spoke about that already. But these are the Sumo Citrus Mandarin, Mandarin, Mandarins or Mandarins? Mandarins from Trader Joe's. And then I got this vegan heavy whipping cream. So I use this to make my pasta. It's so good. And then bag number two, I got sweet potato fries because these, oh, this just wet up my arm like this. These are a must have in your freezer. I put these on the side whenever I don't like feel like really cooking the side. Quick little meal, especially if you're looking for like quick things to cook throughout the day. Get you them sweet potato fries. I got two of these da dairy free shredded spicy Mexican style blend. I like how these, this cheese melts better than the uh, vegan Aldi cheese. So I'm like, let me just pay the 20 cents more and get what. I know, <laughs> or what I really, really like. Cause I like when the cheese melts, especially when I'm making my sandwiches in the air fryer, the way this melts fire. So I got two of these and then I got one of the dairy-free mozzarella shreds. They have Parmesan too, but I only really use Parmesan when I make salads and I don't intend on making salads this week, but we'll see. And then I got this milk. This is the milk that I've been enjoying, the Trader Joe's non-dairy almond beverage, the original flavor. I've been enjoying this for cereals and with my oatmeal. And then I got two of these organic biscuits from Trader Joe's. So these don't have any dairy. So if you don't eat dairy like me, you can get this. But it does have wheat. So for my gluten-free babes, sorry. And that's everything that I got. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I forgot the most important thing. So I threw this in the freezer when I first got home because I didn't want it to melt. But I don't know if you guys remember, probably like two summers ago, Trader Joe's used to have a mango sorbet. And when I tell you, that sorbet was so fire, so fire. But they discontinued it. Or it was like seasonal, whatever the case is. Never came back last summer. But this summer, they came back with this. This is the Trader Joe's calamansi and mango sorbet i saw this on one of my trader joe's instagram pages and i was like i need to get it i have to try it and see what it's hitting for i don't know what a calamansi is so i'm gonna google it because so it says a calamansi is a philippine lime or a philippine lemon it's a citrus hybrid predominantly in the philippines Okay, cool. So it was like a lot more lemon. But I want to try this with y'all and see what it's hitting for. So I'm actually going to record a TikTok. I'll leave you guys on the side. Let me get my um, my phone tripod. So I just got home from Trader Joe's and I got something new to try. I picked up this calamansi and mango sorbet. If you guys remember, Trader Joe's had a mango sorbet about two summers ago. And... It disappeared. It never came back. But they gave us this calamansi and mango sorbet. And I'm really interested in trying it. I honestly didn't know what a calamansi was. So I googled it and I found out it's like a Philippine lime slash lemon. So we're going to try it on camera together. And I'm saying we yes because y'all going to try it I love me a sorbet. Like I'm not really a huge dessert girl. But when it comes to the sorbet baby, I'm going to have it. But let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I definitely feel like the calamansi is giving more of a lime versus a lemon. But it's good. It's good. I still prefer the OG mango sorbet that Trader Joe's used to have. But this is cool. This is cool. I would say try it out. I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea. Because the little twang from like the lime flavor. It gives it an interesting like aftertaste. So yeah. It's a calm 6.5 out of 10 for me. It's cool though. But it's cool. If y'all tried this before, let me know what y'all think. And if you haven't tried it before, do y'all plan on trying it? Or y'all gonna pass? The mango sorbet was just so fire that I feel like 
nothing can compare to it. Like, baby, you really can't compete where you don't compare. You can't. I really don't think it's a competition. I think it's just that, you know, they just added a little, and they just added a little something to shut the girls up, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my groceries down. Yes, I still wipe my groceries down with my Clorox wipes. Girl, COVID is still out here, okay? It is still out here. I don't play any games like Sarani. So I'm gonna wipe these groceries down and then I'm going to finish editing the vlog that I'm gonna upload tomorrow. I'm sorry, I know y'all be waiting for my vlogs on Sundays and I've been trying, but girl, it has been hard. It's been hard. But I'm trying to make it work. I'm gonna make it. Guys, editing Kendra here. I look crazy, do not mind. But I just realized I didn't record an outro for this vlog. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way until the end of this video, comment down below with spring emojis, flowers, rain drizzles, uh, whatever gives you spring vibes, leave it down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my first spring vlog of the season. I will have links to all of the items mentioned in today's video down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check it out. And make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up, and drop a comment down below. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.